Hey everyone, Coach Van Kempen here with the uh, latest and greatest email. I'm taking a page out of uh, Superintendent Spencer's playbook here and running a video rather than a very long email. Uh, yesterday at about 2.15, I was pretty down. I was, felt like we had been uh, shut down again by the governor's office and the health department and that we weren't gonna be able to do anything with our players. And then at four o'clock, I was rejuvenated a little bit when we got the news from the MHSAA that we actually could get in a gym with our players um, and we could have non-contact practices. So what that means is we can't scrimmage, basically. Um, there's a few other things we just gotta be careful about, but we can't scrimmage. So um, to that end, we are going to practice and we're very excited about starting practice. It will be different. Um, the biggest difference will be we don't feel like with the social distancing rules that we have in place for from the MHSA that we would be able to have everybody who's trying out for the team in the gym at once. So what we're going to do is we're going to split the practice in half. So each player will practice for one hour. Um, and then so half the team, for instance, will come at 8 a.m. and half the team will come at 9 a.m. And the first half of the team will practice hard for an hour and the second half of the team will practice hard for an hour. Um, and that way we can meet some of the MHSA's requirements for distancing and still run a pretty valid practice. Um, as far as tryouts go, uh, we are going to run tryouts. I call them practices because I still think we practice during tryouts, at least the varsity team and even the freshmen and JVs do. So there'll be tryouts too. Um, there'll be more information about that coming as we kind of figure out how we're gonna do things that way. Um, with all this coming down so quick, we don't really have a handle on it, um, but we'll let your players know for sure. And we'll let you know via email. But uh, tomorrow I'm gonna have a meeting during seminar with all of the players trying out for basketball. So if you could remind your son to uh, check his email and check his bulletin announcement that at 8.30 tomorrow morning, we're gonna meet during seminar in the cafeteria. And I will tell them kind of what I'm telling you right now, but I'll have a few more things to talk to them about. Um, our season now starts February 4. I'm not our season, but that's when we can start competition, which is a Thursday. Uh, it's probably likely we won't start on that day, but I don't know. Um, right now we can have our first contact practice where we actually scrimmage each other on February 1. So that would give us three days of live basketball before we roll into a game, which is actually a big advantage for us, our varsity team, I think, and to some extent our JV team. We have a lot of kids that have played a lot of basketball. Um, the other news that was kind of slipped in there that people may not have seen is that they're allowing 100 fans right now per event per gym. Although if we called and uh, if we, I might check with Superintendent Spencer on this. If we call our Jim Coopersville Arena, uh, we could get 250. So it's, it's kind of a thought I had. But um, right now it's 100 fans, which is good news. And um, I think even though we're delayed, this actually might be better for basketball players in general to get in shape, get in the gym. And uh, we're just excited that we're able to get in the gym with our players for the first time really in two and a half months. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Uh, please, please, please don't be afraid to check the calendar. Um, I'll put that link in our email that will have our practice times on it. And your son will have to pay attention and you'll get emails saying what group your son is in. For the varsity team, I'm gonna pretty much talk directly to them. But for the JV and freshmen, the coach will send out a list of who's in what group uh, for practices. If you have any questions at all when you get them, feel free to email your coach back. Uh, thank you for listening to this and go Broncos.